Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these, but I figured it would be good for... I think it'd be good for me. I figured it'd be good. Um, so this is going to be a gouache painting today. Um, and this, I don't know if this counts as a screen cap. It's from a screen in a film that I enjoyed as a child. Uh, it's Secret Life of a Rarity or a Rarity. I don't know. It's not exactly a screen cap because it's not the right dimensions, but also it, it is a screen cap, just with incorrect dimensions. Um, I really liked this scene. I thought it was really pretty, so I decided it'd be good to paint it as some practice. Um, I'm trying to get better at stylized work, and I figured this would be really great practice because I want to get more of that like traditional like anime style into my work. Um, I don't know. Developing style is difficult, but you know, I'm working on it. This is some good old practice. Um, it turned out a lot more colorful than I initially intended, but yeah. Uh, it's kind of difficult. So this is a Studio Ghibli movie, and so it kind of has like this weird mix of like the people are animated, but the backgrounds are like watercolor and gouache and colored pencil, and it's a lot going on. It's it's not it's it's complicated. Um, I always have a hard time doing the backgrounds of Studio Ghibli pieces. Um, I've done it in the past. It didn't turn out the best. I have a video. I'll try to add it if I remember to. Yeah. Um, I did gouache this time instead of watercolor because it'd be easier to do the landscape. So since I decided to go with gouache, my technique's a little over there. It's a little all over the place, but I typically try to start with like a really thin layer of gouache, like it's really watered down. Because if you are familiar with acrylic gouache, or if you're familiar with my work <laughs> at all, um, gouache can be a little chunky, especially the whole the whole bind acrylic gouache. If like you're not very intentional with it. It can get chunky and you can get little crispy bits in it, which nobody wants in their painting. So I usually start really thin and then slowly build up thickness in paint. And then at the very end, I just put acrylic wash on there that has like no water. But at the beginning, it's very watered down. And I typically do line art twice for this style of gouache as well. I do like a really thin layer that's just like all the medium tones and then I do line art on top and then I put in the other colors and I do line art again. I didn't exactly follow that process for this piece um, because I ended up adding colored pencils in at the end. Yeah, that's me. Also, I would like to point out this because it's important because I didn't do it for this video. Take care of your brushes, my guys. Take care of your brushes. I, see the problem is I was a watercolor artist for so many years that like, you're not supposed to, but oftentimes I would finish a piece and then not clean my brushes afterward and it wouldn't be a big like deal because obviously watercolor is water soluble and you could just clean them and it wouldn't be a big issue. You didn't need to wash them after each Thing, but that habit of not washing my brushes is not great for the acrylic wash because it's more acrylic than it is watercolor and that has been problematic for me. <laughs>
It was at this moment I accidentally started going a little bonkers with the colors. Um, the original piece, even though it is a Studio Ghibli art scene thing, it doesn't actually have that much color to it, especially the character. He's like all boring and gray. And I intended to do it, I fully intended to make this a boring kind of gray, solemn little academia moment. But I can't do that. It's just not me. I'm a colorful girl and I just love contrasting colors. I didn't realize it at the time, but now looking back on it, I realize all of the colors in here are contrasting with like the orange and the green and the red and the green, and then the blue and the yellow. I wasn't like doing it on purpose. It just kind of ended up happening. And I kind of prefer it this way. I think when you're doing these screen caps, it's like this weird balance between, like this isn't my composition, this isn't my line art really, like I changed a little bit of the face, it's like, it's not really mine at all, but like I still found a way to stylize it to be my piece of art. I mean, it's not like I can sell it or anything, like obviously, like, it belongs to Studio Ghibli, but. I don't know, I just think it's interesting how that happens, because I fully intended that, to make this accurate to the original photograph, which isn't at all what ended up happening with the color. It's funny, I, I really love using bright contrasting color in my pieces, and this is something that has always been apparent in my art, but like, in the last couple of months I've been going a little bit crazier and a little bit more abstract, especially in my big pieces. If you saw my um, my thrift flip video with like that really big piece I did, the colors are super exaggerated, especially in the skin. It's like a bright orange. And I, I really like this new era of Bubbles art that's like, I don't know, it's really bright and really colorful. And it's something that like comes to me, like it's very natural. I know some artists that have to put a lot of thought into what color they're going to use. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just color is something that comes really naturally to me. And so I really like to play with it. It's, I think that's my biggest strength in my art. So I waited till the end to paint the flowers and it was pretty worth it. They looked so cute. I love painting like abstract flowers, like without the detail. So cute. And it brought everything together so well. I loved it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell because of the colors next to it, but I actually did the highlights on the eyes and hair and like, like 
little dowels everywhere. It's actually like this really light mint green. It's like a little yellowy and I really loved the way it looked. I'm kind of against using pure white and black in my paintings because it kind of flattens everything, takes out the life, and sometimes it's hard to not use white, but that, it slapped, it looks so good. And then this is just me working on the border with some acrylic Poscas, you know, snatch it a little bit. Anyway, this is the finished piece. I think it looks so good, especially to the first um, painting that I did in this style. Um, yeah, I have improved a lot over the last couple of months. Thanks for joining me.